What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you a brand new video and I am proud to present uh, some new content that's going to be coming to the channel. Uh, on the channel we are going to start featuring the Wars of the Week for the NDL. For those of you that don't know that is the No Dip League. We are in season two right now. A great group of guys and girls over in the NDL. Uh, so the first rule we're going to be presenting is Chronos and Dragon Rejects. Chronos getting a solid victory as you guys just saw it. 103 to 101. A very, very close war. Dragon Rejects putting on quite a performance themselves. Uh, we will go ahead and show you guys a few of uh, the 10v10 attacks. Chronos picking up an 11v11. We'll go ahead and look at that in a little bit. And we'll show you guys uh, some Town Hall 9 attacks as well. As we're just scrolling down the map, checking out uh, these 10v10s. Uh, we'll go over the stats real quick. Chronos picking up five 10v10s this war. Their Town Hall 9's hitting at a very solid 63%, and which did allow them seven scouts, so they didn't have to hit too many of the Town Hall 10s fresh. And again, they did have one 11v11 triple. On the DR side, also a great performance. Uh, they had four 10v10 triples against Chronos. Their Town Hall 9's struggled a little bit. Both sides were able to get the 9's cleared on the map. Remember guys, this is the, a no dip league, the NDL. Uh, so Town Hall 9's matter the most in these style of wars. Uh, but good job to both clans, DR and Chronos, for the 9's getting the 9's cleared. Uh, DR did have a pair of scouts and they were not able to execute an 11 v 11 triple. Uh, we'll go ahead and check out the first Town Hall 9 attack. And this is going to be Matthew taking on Juggernauty from DR. Uh, an incredible hog attack. Wait till you guys see this. You guys already know, for those of you that have watched the channel, or ever seen any of the videos on the channel, uh, definitely atta an attack out of the ordinary. Uh, you'll see, notice where the queen is. She's up at the top. She's at the top of the base. Notice where his heroes are. Uh, he, he's going to go ahead and basically sue his heroes to not only take out a couple point defenses, start a nice uh, defense funnel for the hogs, but to take out the enemy king. Look down in the spell comp, guys. Uh, we got Matt bringing four heal spells and two skelly spells that he'll be using at the very end of the raid. Wait till you guys see this. Very, very unique attack. I definitely want to get this one featured on the channel uh, as we're always looking for awesome Town Hall 9 hits. Uh, you'll see he did get a nice uh, lure uh, using a, just a few hogs. And here comes the hogs. He also has uh, max hogs that are going to be coming out of the clan castle. And again, he does have four heal spells on the right bases. This is a very powerful attack if you use your heal spells right, which is exactly what Matthew is going to be doing on this attack right here. So see Hogs coming in. Once uh, that, once the defenses at six o'clock were gone, he was able to directly target that expo, and he's just trickling in these Hogs. Notice getting cleanup wizards down nice and early. Uh, once the Hogs go ahead and clear those defenses, getting down those cleanup wizards, and you'll see right there has one more heal spell. We'll go ahead and zoom in on this one for you guys. Once the queen hops over the wall, and also once the Hogs are on and locked onto the bomb tower. You'll see being very patient with those skelly spells. There they go. And they're going to aggro right onto the enemy queen. Take her out. No problem. The only defense that was not covered by a heal spell was that archer tower. Completely wrecked this one. A very unique attack. Again, like we always uh, like seeing something new. And I like featuring that kind of content on the channel. Very nice attack to Matthew. So that will be the Town Hall 9 attack we'll be featuring from the Chrono side. And do not worry, uh, for those of you DR guys and fans of DR, I will be showing attacks on their side as well, considering this was War of the Week. This attack I definitely want to show you guys. We won't be showing all five of the 10v10s. The video would be way too long for that. But this attack right here from Extractor was fresh. So granted, Chrono's again getting seven scouts in the war. This attack... Uh, or this base, they went ahead and decided to hit this one fresh. Uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't the lowest Town Hall 10 on the map, uh, but it was one of the lower tiers. I believe this is a tier 2 Town Hall 10. So we got Extractor coming in here with a beautiful Queen Charge Lalo. 
starting off nice and patient, had a nice rock skip off that DE storage to go ahead and take out that mortar, kind of getting a two for one, taking out a defense, and also making sure that queen goes where he wants her to. Uh, and this nice little inlet right here, what she's gonna take on uh, the town hall, he's gonna be breaking in here, gonna take out some archer towers, gonna take out an expo, wizard towers, and of course the enemy queen and the enemy CC. Awesome value for this queen charge right here. And he's gonna be um, lolloing the rest of the base. Chrono's definitely favoring Lalo. Uh, uh, most of their 10v10s were from air, and for good reason. Uh, Sui Hero Lalo and Queen Charge Lalo are absolutely wrecking at Town Hall 10 right now. So goes ahead and drops down another Rage. Uh, got that junction broke perfectly to go ahead and wipe out a couple more Wizard Towers. Gonna go ahead and get that Bomb Tower. Not that that matters. Uh, for air targeting defense wise, but it does help that loon pathing starting off with that inferno tower over there at the three o'clock corner dropping down two haste and one haste down there at six o'clock keeping these balloons Constantly moving once they leave the haste they're gonna go ahead and go into the next rage Followed up by a heal spell as they're gonna be as one of the last defenses to go down is going to be that inferno tower and that air defense but uh, Extractor has so many loons left. Uh, you'll see this is going to get really, really interesting. So there they go. Queen is still up though. Doesn't have ability. Uh, has plenty of cleanup. You'll see she's going to break through the wall. Minions and the pups taking out that air defense. Very solid attack. Also considering that that was a fresh hit. Absolutely loved it. Uh, good job to Extractor on that one. All right. As we move right along here. We're gonna go ahead and check out this incredible hit right here from American. Uh, gonna be taking on, what is that, Tuan uh, from DR. Gonna be doing uh, Sui Hero Lalo. Uh, for the spells, we got a heal, we got two rage, four haste, and uh, one camp skelly spell, and a maxed skelly spell donated in the clan castle. And as you see, that queen is surrounded, bringing two skelly spells. If you look, that queen's right there in the core, uh, in range of the Inferno Tower beams, a Bomb Tower, and a Wizard Tower. So definitely playing it safe here, bringing those two Skelly spells. Uh, you'll see he did go ahead and break that 9 o'clock junction, just taking out all these air targeting defenses. And you'll see he's also, uh, he still has Queen ability. Once she takes out that pump, she's going to round back inside. Going to go ahead and take out that uh, Wizard Tower, step up and get the Archer Tower as well. There goes the ability. And you'll see there's the enemy CC. Uh, it wasn't a loon that came out. It was a wizard and an archer that came out. But with how many loons and how and he's got uh, two hounds and a hound going to be coming out of the clan castle. Uh, he's not going to be too worried about that wizard and that archer. Nice two finger drop over there at two o'clock. And he's just going to constantly keep these loons moving. Just like we saw in that last attack. Following up by two haste, they're going to meet up into the third one. You'll see kind of makes almost like that Mickey Mouse print right there. Uh, going to have a nice uh, haste over there at 3 o'clock as well. A rage for that group of loons that are meeting uh, the first uh, Inferno Tower down there at about 4 o'clock. Followed by a heal spell, catching all those loons, not only in that rage, but in that heal as they were approaching that Wizard Tower, the Air Defense, and the Archer Tower. One more rage is going to keep those loons raged up as they're going to be collapsing on the second and in final, uh, second and final Inferno Tower. All defenses are down, nothing but cleanup, starting his minions nice and early up there at the top of the map. Uh, very, very good execution from American uh, taking out Tuan. And this was another 10v10 triple for Kronos. Again, guys, uh, Kronos picking up five this war. Uh, really, really good stuff. We'll go ahead and check out another 10v10 replay. Uh, this one I want to show you guys before we get into their 11v11. This was the, this Town Hall 10 was at the very, very top of the map. Uh, fully maxed tier five Town Hall 10. And you'll see right here we have LT Beast uh, bring in a Rage also bringing two freeze to this attack uh, is only bringing one skelly spell as we saw two in the other attack uh, bringing one uh, max skelly spell donated in the clan castle doing his sui hero uh, down here at six o'clock working up notice he didn't have any wall breakers i thought that was interesting 
uh, figure could just kind of do a naked queen walk uh, with his king tanking all these defenses. Goes ahead and pops queen ability, getting incredible value, wiping out from six all the way up to damn near nine o'clock just with his queen. And she's still going, taking out that storage. And right before the wizard tower goes down, uh, gets a couple shots off on it. Uh, was able to get a couple shots off on that wizard tower, was not able to take it down. And here he's dropping, pre-dropping down those haste before he goes ahead and starts the flight portion of this raid. Uh, here he goes, notice he started those loons pretty far back uh, at about six o'clock to make sure those loons would target directly onto that wizard tower. So they meet uh, the inferno tower right after nice uh, freeze on that first IT followed by a, a heal or followed by a haste into a rage where the queen was making sure he gets that skeleton spell down to take out that enemy queen and you'll see he's just going to be kind of going around this base going counterclockwise and again just like on that last attack the inferno tower going to be pretty much one of the last defenses to go down you want to talk about patience from lt beast right here being very patient uh, patient with that last haste and that freeze grabbing the inferno tower the wizard tower and the Tesla, there it goes. And he, does, he obviously wasn't able to get that Archer Tower, but with that many loons, way too much for that Archer Tower to handle. Nothing but clean up. Look at all those pups and those minions over on the other end of the base. Beautiful execution, bringing those two free spells. Something you don't see uh, all, you know, too much at Town Hall 10 bringing two frees, uh, but very, very nice attack to LT Beast on this one, taking out. Uh, Dragon Rejects top Town Hall 10. So now we'll go ahead and get into that 11 v 11 triple. All right, here we go. Number five getting taken down. 11 v 11. Wait until you guys see this attack. Uh, absolutely love the execution. Not only the execution, but just the plan. Uh, something I definitely would not have thought of. Uh, I mean, we know how rare it is to see 11v11 triples alone, uh, but especially on these anti-3 Town Hall 11s, uh, definitely hands down some of the hardest bases to take on. We're going to go ahead and check out, I believe it's Ast, A-S-T, we got Ast, uh, taking on Chance. You're going to see an incredible queen charge and wait till you guys see the value. Not only the value of this kill squad, but the entry point of this kill squad. Queen starting over at 9 o'clock. You're going to see uh, she's going to be walking up, taking out all this trash and taking out key defenses, setting the funnel. Uh, you'll notice over there at about 2 o'clock or about 1.30, uh, he did go ahead and take out. The, that was just some uh, trash buildings over there. He took out with just a few archers. And you will see why in a minute. Uh, and then you see some of the, a little bit of the CC came out right there. Uh, had a nice poison waiting for it. And notice he's being nice and patient uh, with those rages, just letting that queen work. Notice uh, he does have the warden behind the queen as well. Here comes the kill squad jumping in at 11, right in that first in front of compartment. Nice leading rage. Look at all those bullets. Look at the entry point of this kill squad entering in on this base at 11 o'clock. And look at um, the uh, the bitch part of this. Uh, we have bowlers and witches gonna be taking out all the trash and defenses from over the wall, keeping that kill squad in that core. And you'll see those bowlers still doing work. Look at how many bowlers that uh, ass has. Uh, nice jump spell leading into uh, the second Inferno Tower down here at 6 o'clock. And you'll see he's that uh, Bowler Wits, uh, that mini kill squad, still doing work. Uh, troops jumping over the wall. You'll see that is an open compartment. But all the, de the, all the defenses left can be reached from over the wall uh, besides that Inferno Tower. And if you guys notice, he still has Queen ability. Ended up completely wrecking this base. Love the entry point on this. Love the plan. Definitely not an attack that you see every day. Uh, good job to ask getting the one and only 11v11 triple of this war. Uh, war of the week. This is week three in NDL, guys. Pro division. Okay, that was the, the chrono side. Now, you guys voted this. Uh, uh, you guys voted this war of the week. So we got to show some love to Dragon Rejects. Uh, we'll be showing uh, this uh, attack right here on number 17. 
we have Exodus going to be taking on, uh, what is this? Man's the Tist. <laughs> man's the Tist. Almost sounds like Man's the Tits. We're going to check out this minor attack. Uh, starting with a bowler right here getting a good rock skip. Notice that rock skip is hitting that wizard tower. And then same thing uh, with the bowler bounce up there at 12 o'clock. Uh, hitting that wizard tower. And you'll see he's just going to be funneling uh, these edges for the minor portion of this attack. He is bringing four heal and one rage. Does have two poisons for the enemy CC. Here comes the miners. And notice he does have a king. Also a pretty unique attack. We don't see it too much at Town Hall 10. Where you kind of have that king bowler kill squad. Uh, using those max CC bowlers to his advantage. Going to be taking out this trash and some defenses from over the wall. And look at the value he's going to be getting from his archer queen. Uh, still has both hero abilities. Uh, but notice all the defenses are targeting the miners that are getting benefit from those spells. So he's getting even more value from those heroes as all those defenses are distracted on the miners. Uh, has those side-by-side -side heals. Notice most of the threats of this base are gone. Uh, he did have that poison spell he used for the ground skellies on that back end IT. And other than air defenses, not doing a whole lot to a ground attack, just has a, a pair of cannons and a couple Teslas. And look at how many miners he has left up in this raid. Even ended up swagging his queen ability, uh, taking out that town hall. Last building to go down is going to be that wizard tower. Look at how many miners that Exodus has left up. Absolutely loved that attack from exodus and from the dragon reject side a beautiful beautiful hit uh really really enjoyed that and again uh dragon rejects picking up four 10v10 triples this war we'll go ahead and check out one more attack uh from dr we have banana gonna be taking on american uh so american king at 10v10 three star now he's going to be on the other end uh getting three starred uh, we have Banana starting off with this Queen Walk, uh, actually going to be a Queen Charge, uh, starting the walk over here at 5 o'clock. And you'll see he will be breaking in, going to get all kinds of value from this charge down here. She's going to be walking down to 6 o'clock. Uh, once she takes out those storages, nothing but defenses in sight. Huge clump right here uh, with, with a pair of Archer Towers. We've got a pair of Wizard Towers as well, an Expo all within reach. Uh, once she goes ahead and gets, uh, uh, once the wall breakers go ahead and get this wall junction pop, uh, the wall breaker is just barely getting that in uh, that rage, uh, getting that first layer broke. He did bring ten wall breakers uh, to this attack. Uh, so and those kings trimming that trash, making sure that, that queen goes inside. Very nice king ability. So here comes enemy CC. I was kind of surprised to see that this was a. Uh, uh, a damage CC or a soft CC coming out was not a hound, was not a golem. Probably trying to defend against miners, uh, but Queen's just going to wipe through that. Notice she's taking out an air defense as well, just trying to set up the show for the La Loon portion. So you can clearly see when you start over at five o'clock, wrapping all the way around, taking out an expo as well, all within reach over that wall, and his setup. Um, taking out a lot of defense again to set up the flight portion of this raid um, still has queen ability as well being nice and patient she's gonna go ahead and take out this cannon over here at nine o'clock notice uh, she's already taken out 47 percent of this base and look at what is still up it is all going to go away in 50 seconds guys uh, so here he comes starting off with a, a nice uh, two finger drop and uh, down there at five and up at three o'clock setting up those two haste followed up by a raid spell leading everything in to that first inferno tower compartment you're gonna go ahead and see good value from this freeze uh loons were behind it but he did get uh that air sweeper i think he tried to get that air defense not gonna matter the loons there's way too many loons for that inferno tower uh to defend against all defenses down it seemed like that base went away in a matter of seconds very very nice attack to banana taking out american uh getting that 10 v 10 three star and again dr did pick up four 10 v 10s and it was still a very very close war uh, i mean we're talking within two stars very very close this was the war of the week 
NDL Season 2. This was week three, guys. Chrono's getting the victory 103 to 101. Uh, very, very solid war from both sides. And I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Again, I will be featuring the War of the Week for the Pro Division in the NDL on the channel. Let me, let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. Comments, questions, or concerns down below. Like the video, guys, if you liked it. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.